Simply Done, the podcast network. Ricky Lake, right there. We could go to Ricky Lake. Yeah, she's in stages five and six. Wow, well, you you know show business, Perry. Oh, show business for you, sir. I see Greenberg's uh, parking space. Who's Greenberg? So I'm thinking Hank Greenberg. You think Hank Greenberg? I doubt it. You still working with him? I haven't seen him since uh, everybody says he's died. Who's Emma Greenberg? I have no idea. Will you get up here and fucking talk, you dope? I said I have no idea. I asked you to come up here, and I'm saying, who's M. Greenberg? Is well, that what, are you, fu- what are you bitching me Get about? up here and talk! Get up here, you fuck! No, you're not talking into this, you fuck. You fucking dumb fuck. When I bring this up here, talking that far, you can't hear it, you dumb fuck. Okay, douchebag. I'm a douchebag. I asked you three times to come up and talk, and you yell at me, you motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna yell at you! Ow! What's your fucking deal, dude? It's same as yours. I asked you a question. I said, you got, you got that I said, way the fuck over okay, there. That's the reason I said, come up here and talk, you fucking dumb fuck. I'm sitting on the left. You got the All right. right well, you know what? Right. I can't turn around, you motherfucker. So when well, I say, to get clean. your fucking hand away, when I say, come up, come up and talk. I'm wrong. I tell you to come up and talk and you sit back. I'm, I'm, I didn't sit back. You... Did you pull up? Did he pull up, Vince? Am I lying? No, not lying. Okay, now come up here, and I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask you again, you stupid fuck. M. Greenberg, is that your man? I don't know who the fuck M. Greenberg is. Is that your manager? No. What happened to him? The guy that claimed or wanted to be my manager, Hank Greenberg. uh, They say that he died in a plane crash. Very dramatic. Well. What else do you want me to say? I want you to talk into the mic so when you're about to say something, lean up. Are you that fucking stupid that you can't get that? No, you're that fucking stupid that you can't I'm get I'm stupid? That. Yeah! You dumb fucking piece of shit. Have a nice walk home. Yeah, fuck you. Dude, I'm stupid. I'm just fucking I keep, around. I keep telling you to come up I'm and talk. I'm just fucking around, okay? God, no, it, you no, want it's to be not. Funny. You want to be funny. It's not You're funny. To be funny. It's not fun. I'm not trying to be funny at all. I'm asking you to talk into the mic, you moronic I'm, fuck. I'm belted in one. Okay, well, unbuckle the belt. Because we're driving, you stoop. We're on our way to the podcast. We have to do it from VPN again uh, this week and next week, and then who knows what the fuck. Today, uh, in the car with us, the lovely Mary Jane. Hello. Everybody loves Mary Jane. How does that make you feel? Oh, my. And then, of course, Perry. That's me. God, are you a despicable human being. And, of course, our sound engineer, Vince. Hello. Now, Vince, you know, I don't know why it is, but people just don't like you for some reason, and I have no idea why. You seem like a nice enough guy. I've never had a problem. with. Have you ever had a problem with him, Perry? Never had a problem with Vince. Let's try to make you a more likable person. Uh, if you had something to say to the people, what would you say to them? Well, I'd just like to apologize, because uh, last time when I was talking about my telescope, I forgot to mention that the tool that I use is a concave piece of plastic, and I actually had to put little pieces of pitch, about 16 little squares, all along um, that. Oh, okay, piece. all right, Vince. This is why people don't like you, because you bore them to fucking tears. I like pretty red lipstick and shiny tall stilettos. Isn't that more interesting than him? It goes really without saying. Well, today we're going to do a podcast, and I'm sure Perry's going to fuck it up some way. He always does. Uh, yeah, I fuck it up because you fuck it up. So I fuck, fuck it, it up. up. I fuck it up. You always fuck things up if I fuck it really? up. Because really? Because I don't fuck things up. Oh, you fuck oh, things up. Oh, jeez. You are such an asshole. Can't you ever say anything nice? I, I tell I'm the people... I'm a nice guy. No, you're not. You're a despicable fucking human being. I'm so nice. That's why Justin Bieber is trying to hook me up with his mom, so... All right, we're inside the VPN studios moments before the uh, start of today's show. Mm-hmm. And there's no mole. What do we do? Did you eat the last banana? There was only one banana in there. You didn't ask if anybody else wanted one? 
There's only one banana. And the gentleman told me that I... That Who's the gentleman that told you that? He's in the studio. I don't know. What's his name? his name? I don't know his name. You just take bananas from people you don't know. He said that the food is free for us to eat. Did you ask him if there's any charge? Did you ask him? Why? When he just said, when no. he Did said, you ask him if there's a charge for bananas? No, he didn't say that there was a charge for food. He just said that, uh, that this is all for you guys. I would have liked to have had a banana, but I can't now. Okay, well. Everything's I haven't okay. eaten a banana in, in months, so I mean. In months? It's been a long time since I've had a banana. Well, I'm glad I could have you share the only banana that I... Why, why are you throwing it on the floor? I'm not throwing it on the floor. If you want to finish this, I'll let you I'm have not, the rest. Wait a minute. You have your hands all over it. Fine. So, you don't want to finish the... the okay. Uh, yeah, I'll finish. No, don't put it in your mouth. Now you eat it. I mean, okay, okay, there's mole. Hey, mole. <laughs> Incomplete. Hey, Dan, what's happening? Welcome to our big football show. <laughs> Ain't in your gut. I just hit Scaremaster in the mouth. Hey, Vince is here. Vance is smoking. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys. I guess so. Very good, Mole. And I like the jersey. Me too. Junior Seau. <laughs> no, it's not Junior Seau. It's Shannon Sharp's jersey. You know what? Maybe it was Junior Seau. Maybe he just didn't remember. He was maybe. never on the Packers. You know, he had a lot of head injuries. Okay, well, listen. Hey. Hey, Mary Jane. Mole. Turn around and say who's... Don't touch me. Who's Perry, I'm in the middle of trying to get this thing together. Just stand right there. Stand over here. Illegal All use right. of the hands. All right, here's our deal. We got to really be professional today in every aspect. Because of on account of they're going to fire us, right? They probably That's will. That's what they said. Aye, aye, aye. Well, it's a possibility. Okay. And if there's someone to blame, guess who I'd blame? Him. Scaremaster. Nope. Scaremaster is exactly right, Mo. Of course it is. Because I'm the, the only one around here that does things right. Yeah, you're the only one here. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh. Motherfucker! What are you doing? A bitch! What Mother happened? fucking son of a bitch! I didn't know it was Get the fuck away from me! Get the open. fuck away from me! Mo, Mo, hey, Perry! 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 Perry, Perry, what are you doing? I'll beat the fucking no, shit not. out of no, that son not. of a bitch! What did I do? Pick up the I'm water. Done. Perry, come Get here. Get over! Perry, Perry, settle down. That's his happen. It's the Super Bowl. Perry, come here. Hey, Jimmy. Perry, Perry, Perry stop. Get away from me. Stop. Don't tell me to get the fuck away from you. Stop. What are you doing? Shut the door. Come in. She, she can come, come in. in. Fucking asshole. What happened? He fucking grabbed my water and threw it all over me. Now I gotta clean these. And I just got done saying be professional, and you try to kick him. I'm gonna kill the son of a bitch. No, 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 not this, not these papers. Okay. All right, I'll get Mole to apologize. Get out of here, no. Mole, I, I don't Mole, want him come in here. here. Mole. No. Shut the door. Lock the door. What are I'm you doing? I'm standing in front of it. Why? Because I want no one to come in here. Who is it? Who is here? Excuse me. Somebody's at the door. Move. No one is coming into the goddamn bathroom. Harry, this is not professional. I just got done telling you. Get out of here. Be then. professional. Get can the I fuck out of here. One question. Can I ask you one question? Get out of here. Excuse me, Master. First off, sorry, but you look great. You do look good. And secondly, Thank can you. I say one thing to you? Can I ask you a question? What? A. Are we okay? No. B, what did I do? You're an asshole. And C, are we okay? No. Okay. Go ahead, we'll feel. Please. 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 What you Please. What's the matter with you today? Please. 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 All right, Bye. well, all right, tell them we're going to start the show then. We'll start the show in a couple, as soon as when? I clean my glasses. When? When I get out of here. Get out of here. Both of you. Can you say, I say, you got to say we're going to start the show in a couple minutes. Okay, we're going to start the show in a few minutes. All right, that's all, right. all I needed. Walter, I just got out of the bathroom with Perry. Ah, gross. I, I, no, no, no. What is this, an IOP? No, no, no. No, no, no. Hi. He seems mad at you. Because of before. 
I don't know why, but he God, you know what? He definitely seems mad. Dan at him. Henley said it best when he said, "You keep it's carrying Don that Henley. anger; it'll eat you up inside." Got to let that stuff go, man. Well, we got a podcast to do. We sure do a podcast about our own personal lives and pop culture. I'm thinking about forgiveness. Forgiveness, even if even if Scaremaster doesn't love me anymore. Must that some more Dan Henley? Perry, yes, sir. do me a favor. I don't need your arm wall right now. You were unprofessional in the bathroom. Thank you, Daniel. You, what? You didn't handle yourself in a real professional way. Shut the fuck up. Uh, you're such a jerk. Who's a jerk? That motherfucker. I'd like to know why you think I'm a jerk, first off. And well, I think first our audience off, would like to my... understand why you think that I'm a jerk. You're, you're Everybody right. in the audience is sitting there going, like, why is Scaremaster saying, it? why is Maul a jerk? You Go see, ahead, say it, tell everyone why you think I'm a jerk. First off, because I'd like to know, and I think everybody else would like to know it. why you think I'm a and jerk. And then you fucking take that goddamn football and you throw it at me. You hit me in the chest, the fucking football. You the got numbers. knocked the water out of my hands. You knocked the water all over my face. Get my eyeglasses all that, fucking that's wet. That's your story, Perry. Okay. I was there. I saw it. He was having a little pre-show fun. Trying to get a okay, sip of Okay, yeah, he's having a little pre-show fun to fuck with me. I don't think that's what he Look, was doing. Look, by the way, you don't throw a fucking football and smack me in the he chest. He didn't know it. that rule. What hey, did he do? Oh, did shut you, the fuck did you up. See when, did you see when the Gatorade was uh, was dumped all over Coach Harbaugh last week? And he didn't that's mind it. the coach he, he yeah, on okay. the field. That's yeah. right. I wear glasses. Well, Coach yeah, Harbaugh don't. didn't seem to mind one, no, one bit when his team happy. won the Super Bowl. Now, Coach that's Harbaugh's right. from where? The, he, he's a, he's from the 49ers. I don't know the family's originally from. Listen. Stop, uh, Perry, stop, you, Perry, stop. You act like you didn't even watch the game, Scaremaster. Coach hold, Harbaugh. Hold on, hold on for one sec. Uh, let me just, Perry, when I say stop, remember, stop. Yes, okay? sir. Okay. Don't make him use the choke chain. What? Coach Harbaugh was celebrating with his um, professional football team or players, and they all dumped Gatorade in his head. And you didn't see him, like, freak out and run to the bathroom and cry to Dan. No, he didn't. He Why did would he not. run to the bathroom and cry to Dan? Because exactly you did you when did. you got some water on you bathroom. during the game. Because I got glasses on. What does that have to do with anything? I, it was actually, a little pre-show fun. I didn't realize he had glasses on. Well, why don't we you go ahead and introduce ourselves? Well, we know we haven't started the show. <sighs> That's right. You know what, Scaremaster? You know what, Scaremaster? You sing these sad songs all the time. You know, but you know what song is awesome? Is this song right here. The guys that I used to promote. Shut up. Coming to you pre-recorded from VPN Studios in Culver City, it's the Big Three Podcast. Hi, everybody. I'm your pal, Don. I'm Mo. And I'm the nice guy, Scary Fucking Perry. Scary Fucking Perry. I'm not going to say bad words. No, and I don't know. Don't don't be led by You him. don't say bad words. You guys are always swearing at me. I'm like not. Like when? Like when one time? All right. Because you weren't here, you didn't see what happened before the show, but Perry went out of his mind. I went ape shit for no the reason. Son of a bitch. No, no reason? No reason. Throwing water. Give me Throwing 10 water. reasons of Throwing what I did. Throwing a football. 10 reasons? Yes. Number one, you walked in. Number two, you threw a football Wait, at hold me. Hold on, hold on. Let's analyze each thing. Number one, he walked in. What was he supposed to do? Walk in. Number two, oh, wait a minute. So he did nothing wrong there. So that really shouldn't be on the list. Okay, of number he two, he, he's got a football in his hands and no, he's throwing it No, it's got to go back to me. number one. All right, I, number I would one, say I, I threw it to you. I threw it to you. Not you right. threw it in my chest when in, I wasn't in, ready in the numbers, for it. All right, numbers. stop. And I'm going to say this. I don't think that that was bad. It was a little number pretty three, show energy. Number three, his mother gave birth to him. Oh! This is funny, dude. That's funny. You know what? Number four, he didn't shave. Oh. What a... Number five, he didn't cut. He didn't comb his hair. I, I, I'm just wondering this. Is this supposed to be funny, Perry? Number six, who cut your hair? Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Number seven. Take off those sunglasses. Number eight. Um... Whitey? I never heard of that cereal. Is that oh, racist? God. Hey, Perry. you know what? You, can I say something? Yes, you may. You're bro. acting like a real jerk, 
But hey, I guess you are what you do to get a job in a commercial for Alvarado Hospital. Well, that's funny. That's uh, that's amazing. Look, that was the first extra role I've ever did. Oh, Perry, will you stop bragging about oh, it? We, we know the story. Time and time again, the same thing. Now, Stop bragging about it. I know I'm bragging about the stupid... Okay, Perry, I'm trying to get to some business. Now, at the start of the show, maybe you saw the live podcast on VPN on Super Bowl Sunday, but as you know, we're going to take it a little easy. I think this weekend on Sunday we have a show that we're going to take some time off, and we might be doing this once a month because what we're do what we're doing is we're thrown into a situation that it's kind of overbearing. You know, we're in a new studio. We have to handhold our mics. It's overbarbearing. Yeah. What were you going to say, Perry? What What was so I important that you had to interrupt me? I'm not trying to interrupt you, but I was just going to ask. Only once a month? From here. Oh, okay. Oh, from here. Yeah, because they won't let us do this at our place. There's too many reasons why they can't do it from our studio, our studio to secret Understood. location in West Hollywood, Understood. California. So That's I fine. think that what we're going to do, but we're going to make it more an event, like a special time every time we come in here, right, Mole? You know, we got to get we got to get some of that um, music that they have at the beginning of specials, like they used to have, like before um, Charlie Brown special, and they go. <laughs> I don't, I don't, so, I don't CBS. Know. I think Special they should event. use my no. bands. Whoa, you got your band back together? Which one? Retribution or Nectar? No, your band. band. Well, my band's not my personal band. Yeah. No. But tell, the tell, us that about, I tell us about your personal band for a second. Uh, You're the lead singer. Who's on drums? Uh, Jeff. Okay, and, and who's see. on bass? Who is on bass? M M Mike Majestic. I'm um, guitars. No, Mike Majestic was not on bass. Mike Majestic was not even a musician. Mike Majestic was the magic man that was just like uh, freaking oh Houdini. Oh my God, you're putting people to sleep. Okay, you I know in your band, who plays the washboard? There is no washboard in sure. my band. And okay. there's no band. You know what we should do? Because we're talking music right now. We should play some of the former jingles that before segments that Perry has ruined and they're no longer part of the show. Oh, like this one it. from Perry's Movie Time. Here it is. Once again, it's time for Perry's Movie Time. It's Perry's Movie Time. It's Perry's Movie Time. Perry's Movie Time. What we should do now is get to this. Uh, this is a segment of our show where you... The fan at home get to be part of the show. Let's say you have something on your mind. Maybe you think Perry's a hothead and you want to tell us about it. This is a segment to do it because once again, it's time for Perry's movie time. It's Perry's movie time. It's Perry's movie time. Perry's movie time. Okay, now we played the song twice. We don't need to play that again. I'll play it one more time. All right, one more time. It's Perry's movie time. Perry's movie time. Perry's movie time. All right. No, no, no. I was thinking it's time once again for our $10 shout out. $10 shout out. Oh, man. All right. Now, if you've never heard the $10 shout out before, this is where you, the listener at home, get to say what's on your mind by sending us $10. And that's no checks, no money orders. That's straight cash, homie. You write something that you like to talk about. Make it about a paragraph long, and you send it to $10 shout-out, care of Don Barris, 7510 Sunset Boulevard, number 153, Hollywood, California, 90046. Now, let's see what we have here today. All right, this one says, Don, please read. Dear Big Three, I feel it is important to use this shout-out letter as an opportunity to get through to Perry and have him and your audience understand the pain and suffering he has caused me. Whoa. Who's this? Dimitri Moreland bitching and crying about wanting to move into my apartment? We, keep we can only hope so. No, it's not. Flaming faggot. Okay, stop, Perry. We're in the middle of a $10 shout-out. Talk, shout read out. the shout-out. My life played out pretty normally up until about two months ago. I had a wife, two beautiful children, and a job with a major auto parts company in Columbus, Ohio. But the taunting and abuse that I've been getting from hundreds upon hundreds of strangers who realize who I am has become too much for me to handle. You see, my name is Randy Callahan. You know that guy. 
After a little while of people pointing and yelling at me, hey, it's the guy who Dick Perry sucked off. I finally took it upon myself. I'm just reading what it says here. Go on. It says right here, and Mo, maybe you can verify this. Hey, it's the guy who's Dick yeah. Perry Caramello sucked off. It's the off. guy that... Sh- Never mind. Okay, anyway. He sucked me off, that's what by it, the way. Okay, well, I'm... That I got in to, trouble on a film okay, set. Okay, Perry, stop, stop the bragging. bragging. Stop the bragging. For two this is bragging. a guy Long letters, who's yes. named Randy Callahan. I finally took it upon myself to do a little research and discover Windy City Heat and the Big Three podcast. It's because of Perry and his nonstop bragging about his gay experience with the other, and it's highlighted, other, Randy Callahan, that I am now the subject of criminal abuse through no fault of my own other than the fact that I share the name with the man who Perry raped. That ra- I, guy raped me, motherfucker. Okay, I'm just I didn't I'm rape reading him. He raped what me. he said. It seems I was like picking up on women, Perry, we being don't, nice we to women on the, the film uh, set. Bragging again. Bragging again. Oh, yeah, I'm going to brag about women. Fuck yeah. Okay, may, may I continue on? I can't believe that people would think that I would want any involvement with Perry whatsoever. I've never seen someone who instantly gives me the feeling that I want to puke and shit my pants at the same time nearly as much as Perry causes me. I've come to the conclusion my life is meaningless and would be better off no longer on this planet than continuing to living in the unchangeable funk that Perry has created that I cannot escape. Perry, you are the most worthless, retarded, ugly, fat fucking piece of Italian shit in the history of Earth. May my death be a curse to you forever. It's too late for apologies and too late to reverse you blowing this other Randy Callahan that everybody's confused me with. Since I no longer give a shit about my life, thanks to Perry, and will be dead by the time this shout-out is read, I've included $15 instead of the regular 10 My dying wish is that the $15 gets split evenly between Don, Mole, and Mary Jane. And you guys don't give one penny to that guinea wop fuck. This is on you, Perry, 100%. May you take this to your grave, you meatball eating Java hook fag cocksucker. In death, Randolph Randy Michael Callahan, Columbus, Ohio. Well, that's Think not, what you want, jerk off. Well, that's not Next. A very, it's not very a positive. Tough thing. shit. Next. Perry, you don't even give a shit about this. I don't guy? give a flying fuck about him, pile of garbage. Next. Mole, would you read this for us, please? I will certainly try, Dan. Thank you. Oh, it's handwritten just the way I like it. Oh, it's way too long, just the way we don't like it. My name is Mr. Hey, in Dog We Trust. Dear Mr. Caramello, my name is Dr. Edwin J. Sphincter III. I am a proctologist and avid listener to the show. It has come to my attention that your recent troubling behavior on and off the show may be linked to a rare condition that coincidentally I have been feverishly researching due to your propensity for outlandish high-pitched screaming episodes, uncontrollable lack of professionalism, ambiguous sexuality, and the non-stop words to frantically, frantically gorge yourselves on malls on male semen. I said mall what? semen, but that is you do it at the mall sometimes. I have come what? to the conclusion that you are, in fact, an ass baby. This rare condition is found when the greaseball Italian oh, men God. engage in rough anal pleasure without condoms in rare instances when abnormally large loads of semen are shot into the anal cavity, an ass baby can grow. <sighs> Perry, I believe Next. that in my years of research, I could paint a better picture of how you were brought into this world from your stories of cookie caramel lossity with lots of young and willing sailors to the long family history of homosexual activity with powerful Italian My men. father was It all never... makes sense now, but I am sh- not just here to diagnose. I am willing to help. Upon your next trip to San Diego, not far, I would like you to stop by my office for an exploratory colonoscopy at no charge. We can make sure together that you yourself won't be the unsuspecting father of another aspect, baby, respectively, Dr. J. Edwin J. Spink to the third, MD. Handwritten. Not going to happen. Well, why not? It's free. Why do you keep shit? He's offering you a free colonoscopy it's to bullshit. find out if you have an ass baby in your anal cavity. It's bullshit. Why is okay. that? It's well, bullshit. I, I, you are nothing but negative, I got to tell you. you I'm negative charge. because that's negative. You think he's going to charge you after the fact? Like it's negative, it's period. I'm not going to deal with it. All right, let me Next. read on. Do you ever get blocked up downstairs when you're no. making boom? No. You have no problem making brown? Uh, no no problem at all because I'm- It's so got, stretched out and stuff down there? No, jag off. I've got- uh, I'm lactose intolerant. All right, quit bragging. Dan? He's always bragging. All right, here's our next letter. Dear Don Mole and Scaremaster, first of all, I want to congratulate you on making it to the VPN. It's about damn time. I'll keep this short because I know how you guys hate long $10 shoutouts. Yes, we do. Thank you, dude. Thank you. 
All I want to do is give a shout out for my online graphic design business, Cobra Templates, where I designed the artwork for the arcade controller sticks. I recently helped out the Scaremaster with designing an eBay ad, and I hope he is happy with the end result. I'd also like to thank the Scaremaster for the autographed shit I received from him after winning the Facebook drawing a few months back. What? Sincerely, Who's a this? huge big fan, Chad Sinner. Wow, well, hold hey, on Chad. a second. So you you got he's making eBay pages for you? Uh, Chad and Bob uh, Fortenberry were were doing that for me. Yeah. Wow. What were you selling eBay? My skateboard stuff. Scary Perry skateboards. But not big three stuff. No. But I still I still am not haven't uh, I still have not sold. Any big three? I still have not decks. seen any paychecks for all your big three Neither stuff, have I. dude. And I would like to because see that. Because there is none. I, where are there the contracts? None. Where are the big there three? are none. Where are the contracts for the big three? Po- I, he's ripping there, us there's off. None, there's it's just where like where are the contracts? Where is our money? <laughs> that's what you always say. It's just like he that, stole that fifty dollars from us a few weeks ago. Fifty dollars. It was handed to me. Dear Big Three, greetings from Pittsburgh. The podcast and movie are really popular here. Dan and Mo, you guys are very professional and always do a great job. Perry's always late in trying to sue and scam people in the secret location of West Hollywood. Really that far from 7722 Reseda Boulevard. You're right. You wrote your address on here. Apartment 102. That Perry can't show up on time? I've been checking into this government scam that Scaremaster is not going on. God. I have an uncle that works for the U.S. Treasury Department. His job is to take down people that get checks illegally from the government. I passed on Mr. Caramel's name and address to him. Wow. Hopefully some justice will be served and the matter will be dealt with properly. There are also a few people that I know that have been taking Perry's advice and trying to get fake disability also. This fake needs to disability. stop now. One of them is the infamous Kooky Allen. They're currently doing time in federal prison for scamming the government. You should be receiving a letter soon about the review of these disability checks. Perry knocked over the table. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys, and keep up the good work. The Ziz. P.S. Can you tell the bosses upstairs to cancel Perry's sexcapades? It's boring. I'm sure the ratings are down from the segment. Bring back Pie Talk Guy Talk. Wow, they love that. Pie Talk Guy Talk. They love that segment. You know, I'm not we, eating a whole fucking pie. Well, why don't you get a pie extension ahead of time next time? It's not a bad idea, Scaremaster. Pie talk, guy talk. You know, speaking about the past, let's bring up another song we haven't played in quite a while. This is from Pillow Talk with Neil Leeds. Pillow Talk with Neil, he won't be beat. Oh, God. All right, back to the $10 shout outs. Dear Big Three Podcast, first of all, let me say that I'm a huge fan of the Big Three Podcast. I'm sending this $10 shout out and hoping to get some help from the Scare Mastro. I want to compliment Perry Caravello's talent, acting, skateboarding, and entrepreneur skills. I was hoping he could help me with starting a business of my own. I like to start my own clothing company, and I don't know where to begin. I'm looking for some startup money. I was wondering if Perry would recommend suing or blowing to get my project off the ground. Suing or blowing? Go fuck yourself. Okay, that's next, not next, helping him. Next one. Bye. This is sincerely Kevin Fitz, future CEO. Tweet me at Fitzy MFN. What does that say? Sent? MFN. Dot sent. sent. I don't know what the fuck that is. Let me see. I don't know. Bitsy MFN sent. Here you go. Mole, let's read this next one. Dear Pierre, I hope this letter finds you well. It's come to my attention to decline my offer for a free exploratory examination at my office in San Diego. Wow, that was quick. I completely understand is the ass baby concept may have been shocking to you. I'm writing you now that to let you know some great news. I've spoken with my consultants in the medical community. We've come to the consensus that you are the perfect specimen for our study on ass babies, so much so that we have decided to make it as easy as possible for you to receive this examination. I recently rented a space at 772 to Reseda Boulevard, apartment 103, and have been busy converting the apartment into a space in which we can conduct discreet exams. The location is, was not chosen by accident, and this was on offering you something unprecedented in the proctologist community, you are this valuable to our study. This is cutting edge technology, but I think the world is ready for this announcement. We will attempt to drill a hole roughly one and a half inches in diameter into your apartment, roughly 30 inches from the floor. This hole will enable us to slide our newly developed instrument 
through the hole and into your apartment. Whoa. The instrument is a soft, almost flesh-like, rigid shaft with a small hole at the tip. You will ever so slowly guide that heavily lubricated shaft into your rectal cavity until the full 10 inches are inside you. The exam will then start and should only take three minutes to complete. Upon completion, it will start to shoot a milky vitamin treat for you to take either rectally or orally. This delicious goo will surely be worth the effort of the examination as it has been known to have rejuvenating qualities in patients. The exam will collect data to clear up the medical mystery that is this ass baby you are our last hope and we are willing to pay you up to 43 dollars for this study Whoa, the landlord bad. has already given us the okay to drill the hole and we shall begin by the end of the week what is the best time to drill we do not want to disturb your masturbating or knock over jars of greasy marinara sauce that are sure to be littered all over your filthy house thank you pierre and we look forward to, con- to figuring out your origins for the sake of science and other ass babies don't have to possess your that don't possess your courage wreck to the oars edwin j spink to the third md proctologist p.s we can use the hole to pass through some of your famous Italian sausages, too. Oh, that's nice. You got to get down to San Diego, One more too. mention of my home address. You will not hear my voice for the rest of the evening. Period. Um. Okay, I didn't say it. Period. And they didn't say it was your in address. the fucking it letter. It was next door to you. It was apartment fuck. 103. He doesn't live in, doesn't have a They're fucking... They're taking over from the thing. They're going to be the hole in the lying. wall for you to put the something in that you got to put in your tushy. And you know what? One more mention of my home address. My ne- my voice is silent for the rest of the night. Period. All right. We know how to keep it quiet then. All right. Here's another $10 shout out. Dear Perry, because you're so good looking, I bet you have to deal with fag hags all the time. These are women who are extremely attracted to gay men like you and me. Just last week, I was confronted by a female employee at a gay club that I own and manage here in Chicago. She told me that she was in love with me and then started to take off her top. And then he says, like, I'm supposed to be turned down by those two big sacks of fat hanging off someone's chest. I told her to leave, but she did not stop. Then she pulled down her pants and showed me the female vagina. It was disgusting. It looked like an Arby's roast beef sandwich that got left out in the sun. I don't think that's true. I was about to vomit when a couple of my boys came up and escorted her out of the club. It's crazy how some people just can't accept a person's sexuality and leave them be. I am not, nor will I ever be, a heterosexual. I know you feel the same way, Perry. Love, Dimitri Moreland. Again. All right, that's it. You're not hearing my voice for the rest Wait of the evening. Wait a minute. Evening. He didn't give away your said, address. What happened? Dimitri Moreland or my home address. Never. That's it. Scaremaster, you need to stop all these disc- all these spoilers. Spoilers? Yes. I'm done with that cocksucking faggot. Fuck. I want nothing to do with him. I want him never to reach me again. He calls me constantly. He calls you? Calls me constantly and... And brags about oh, oh he wants to move into my home address, so you can you can't understand. Name it. But you can understand how that's a mixed message you're giving him right now. Mixed message, exactly. The mixed message is there's only one message: don't ever reach me again. One, don't ever call me again. Two, don't ever email me again. Well, I blocked him on my computer, so he can't get through. Uh, Unless he's got a completely different name with a completely different fucking. Hey, maybe idea. maybe you should concentrate the fact that he likes you. He okay, does he like likes you. Okay, he likes me. I'm okay, a great actor. Okay, and here's someone else who likes us. Oh, you are a great actor. Hey, dear big three, Dan, Moel, and Mary Jane. Notice I left Perry out. That was by intelligent design because he is so dumb. Please give no part of the shout out money to that dangerous, deceptive P word. I'm a first time listener, a first time shout outer. I wanted to chime in about Perry's plot to become Justin Bieber's stepfather. This was just pointed out to me because I overheard our tour bus driver, Jeffy, watching the latest episode of the video podcast network on his iPad mini. It was the part where Dan was telling a story to Perry in his hotel room shortly after he fondled Moe's private place when he tried to also put his head on Dan's chest. I remember that. You pinched my private place. I remember that, too. I punched your private place. You pinched place. it. I didn't pinch no, nothing. really? I was I there. I punched it. Ask my private place. Oh, God. It was a pinch. It was weird and creepy. I work with Justin, monitoring his Scientology worship ceremonies and health-related bloodlettings. I also work closely with his mother and accompanied her on a recent passion-filled journey into the spiritual unknown on the island of Hawaii. Also, we attended a friend's wedding. Justin's mom, or as I call her, Patty Cakes, did catch a bouquet that the bride threw. And I'm writing to say that while she may be married this year, it won't be to that Italian piece of S. Perry. Uh Uh-oh. 
In addition, I know that Perry has been hounding the Beebs with emails asking for red carpet tickets, more fans, and specialized personal emails to Perry's daughter who blocked him on Twitter. He also offered to move in with him and be his personal car detailing assistant. Is that true? I didn't say move in with him. I just said... Be his personal car detailing assistant? I would detail his car. God. Yes. I know this because Justin left his iPad mini out after his veins were opened to release evil spirits from his blood into the drain for safekeeping. I saw that Jeffy had also been corresponding with Perry and said my name, so I made it my business. Later, I also saw an email where Perry asked Jeffy if Jeffy was gay. Coincidence? I think not. The name... So in conclusion, please let Perry... Please tell Perry to stay away from my patty cakes and stop asking Justin to betray Scientology for his Javaho BS. Yours in Scientology, Tony Mosquito. Anything to say about that, Scaremaster? I... Now, wait a second. You're trying to be Justin Bieber's per- car detailer? I wouldn't mind detailing Justin's cars. I wouldn't mind ju- detailing Patty's cars. Who's um, Patty? Patty's his Justin's mother. I did not know that. Okay. Her name That's is the Patty, one you want to marry. Patty Maletti or, or Melate or... However, they pronounce it in French. Mulatto. No, it's it's M A L L E T T E. Lamada. Whatever. But uh, Jake Lamada is your girlfriend. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. Let me read on. We've got one ten dollar shout out left. Dear Big Three, it's really hard to understand Perry's unusual way of doing things. It's so bizarre that I have to question if the doctors didn't actually replace his brain matter with cement when he had his neck surgery. The Javaho Gypsy has proven that he is more gullible than Manti Teo. I recently had some partners in my computer hacking business do a routine check of the Scaremaster's apartment. I was looking for any new information that I could find. What they came across on Perry's wall was an autographed picture of Justin Bieber that was hung up underneath Perry's daughter's picture? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> when I first saw this, I thought It would that... be like big sister, little brother. That's that's why I hung it below Christina's picture. This is getting really sick. What's well, sick? I, I don't know. I It's just really sick. Read it. When I first saw this, I thought that maybe it was some sort of shrine, like a Javaho prey station. Oh, God. I then was hoping that it was a 15-year-old girl's bedroom because that would make sense. But no, it wasn't a 15-year-old girl's bedroom, nor was it a Javaho prey station. It was the apartment of a man nearly in his 50s who has a homosexual crush on a teen boy idol. I don't have a homosexual crush on a teen boy idol. The I'm saddest... a friend with... Okay, well, let me read on. The saddest part of this, it's not even the real Justin Bieber that he's in contact with. It's just a couple of teenagers that have fooled Perry, knowing how much in love he is with Justin. Sorry, Perry. There's no Justin. There's no driver by the name of Jeffrey. It's Uh, it's Jeffy. Is it Jeffy? Jeffy. 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 So they're wrong. The, You're wrong. There it is doesn't, no, actually, the I people read it that wrong. wrote that. Look what that, it says. It does say Jeffy, not Jeffrey. No, I read it, it says wrong. Jeffrey. It says Jeffy, not Jeffrey. Jeffy. I think that you've been had, and if you don't believe me, let me prove it to you. The real Justin Bieber just passed Lady Gaga and the number of Twitter followers. Nice. Becoming the most popular person in the world with nearly 34 million followers. Wow. If the person contacting you is the real Justin Bieber, you should ask him to tweet about the big three. That makes a lot of sense. You know, I should do that. That would make you guys very popular on Twitter, and that would mean more money in your pockets. I asked... Can can I excuse you? Excuse me a second? Let me just finish reading this, and you can say. So ask him. And if he refuses to help his good friend, that proves that he's not the real JB. Next to your sound engineer, Vince... Perry is the biggest bore that I've ever come in contact with, what? and I would love—no way! I would love to ruin his life. However, what this did Vince do? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he did here. I know who wrote this letter too. Who? <laughs> however, this is becoming too much for me, and that's why I'm resigning as the editor in chief of Perry Leaks. Because I blocked him on everything on the computer. Huey Craig the Third. And again, I don't think that Perry has ever denied that he's gay. Your loyal friend. Fan and former worker Hugh A. Craig the Third. Nice going, scare man. Former editor in chief of Perry Leaks. Because he's blocked everywhere. Well, unblock him so that he's we can have Perry Leaks shit. back. How he's are we going to get Perry Leaks back and find out a lot of stuff? Shit. We guys find out a lot of interesting stuff that we didn't know. He's a piece of shit. He's trying to fucking 
Uh, spam my websites. Spam my pages. Have you tried spam? What? Try it again for the first time. No, it's it, spam. Yeah, you're... it's a ham. It's like a, a, pro, a processed ham. In a it's square disgusting. Tin. Excellent meat. Excellent. It's meat. disgusting. Well, we're gonna try spam next week on the show. No, we're gonna we're, get, we're gonna. We find should. It. That's an excellent no, we're idea. We're gonna try spam. Well, anyway, that was today's ten dollars shout outs. Ten dollars shout out. We're on a roll right now. Can I, can Vince? I? Vince, can you wake up and do me a favor? Play uh, the theme from Perry's Corner. It's Perry's Corner. Can I? Can I ask? All right, wait a minute. Let me hear guy talk. Oh yeah, it's guy talk. We're gonna talk about the ladies. Guy talk. Ooh. All right, what were you going to Oh, wait, can I say one thing? Hey, let's hear Scare Master do Back in Black. Not now, please. Just for a second. Come on, sing it. Not now. Just for a second, dude. All right, stop the music. He's not going to sing. Yeah, I, I, I'm not ready for uh, <clears throat> raising the voice for Back in Black. All right, you were saying right there a minute Let's ago talk about Justin. Justin a little bit. This All does right? sound kind of sick. It's not sick. You have a picture of a teen idol beneath your daughter in a shrine-like well, manner, according to this letter. It's not a shrine-like manner. I give a Do fuck you have that on your it's wall? It's on my fucking dining room wall below my daughter. Big sister, little brother. But he's not your little brother. He's not my little son, no. But if Patty and I got involved with each other. He'd be your son. And got he'd married. Be your son. Stepson. That's right. He would stepson. become my stepson. He's yes. never going to be your he'd, real son. Yeah, but he'd be your stepson. He'd be he a would stepson. He'd be a stepson. So Skip Master, true or false, you would still regard him as your son. Stepson. Even though he's your step. Yes. But he's your son, but you would treat him wait like a your son. Wait a second. I treat Hold him like everything. a son. Wait, right, wait, wait a minute, Perry. Let me ask you this. I saw Mole trying to play catch with you a little earlier. <laughs> How would you play catch with your son, Justin? Well, would you yell at him? Would you First yell at off, him? I wouldn't have my glasses on one, okay. to, and and uh, and um, have him over the football. The wires over there. Just sit. Uh, come here. What are you doing, Perry? Just put reaching the football back on. for the football. And and uh, first off, I wouldn't have my uh, glasses on one as I'm playing catch with my dad. Son. I'm open. Dad. And number two, hey, dad, I open. wouldn't. I wouldn't be dad, uh, throw the ball. Dad. Drinking water, hey, and dad. then all of a sudden when I'm not looking. Uh, having him. Wait a minute. Did you see the way he just threw that ball? I, really good. That's like a worse than a little girl. I can throw better left-handed. Yeah, you're, and you're looking us. for my no, looking to fucking to throw it us. in my fucking nuts like always. You know, before we go on, before we go any farther, this is something that people have said to me. You know what I always love? I love it when just almost kind of totally off guard. You're always so kind because you always give him a chance to say what's on his mind during his 60 seconds with Perry. Go! You can reach me and my skateboard uh, company at uh, uh, www.scaryperryskateboards.com. Smooth, smooth. That's spelled out S C A R Y P E R R Y S K. No, dude, you number first up you spell the name wrong. And boards.com. Right. M Caramello. S K. -K no, I'm not, no, 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 no. Stupid. You said scary, scary Perry, Perry scary, skate, scary, S Caramello, K, K, the number A -R eight, board, e double people L -O. that could get a thing about his skateboards. I wonder how many skateboards he could sell then. Let's see if Justin will do that for you. I'll bet he doesn't. He will. No, I bet 44 he million people? 34 yeah, if million. Even half of them buy skateboards, dude. Even if a third of them bought skateboards. That's over 10 million people buying skateboards. That would be me. nice. Shit. Well, let's see what that Justin nice. does. Let's see if he's real or not. Well, J Justin wanted Justin me. Justin what? He asked me Justin to sing what? sing um, a beat from that song that he did, uh, that he dedicated to me at the concert. Stop! And that was 60 Seconds with Perry. <laughs> Stop! You're funny all the way you're holding the microphone. Like you're on an airplane. During the last show on the VPN, you broke headphones. You argued about your Arthur Fonzarelli coat. Uh, you're not. Gonna I don't want to. I don't want to grab it anymore. What? I don't want my coat touched by you guys any longer. Well, you said that, but you said that on Sunday. Now here it is Friday, and you're still wearing the coat. So you lied to us. 
That's true. Wrong. You still look like Fonzie. You sure do. Hey. Hey, do one Fonzie. Do one Fonzie. <laughs> he was Jewish. Uh, you know, I heard that. But Marlon Brando. Also Jewish. Oh, God. His I real think... name was Bra- uh, Marlon uh, Brando in the movie Wild One, which was his very first big. Jeff big Daniels and Melanie hit. Griffith. Who's in that movie? Mm hmm. I don't remember. Oh, then why'd you bring it up? Well, because of the leather coat. That's why. That's it, Perry. That's yeah. all you have to say. Just you know, you know why I like the coat? Why is that? Because the pleather in his coat, you get water on it. Watch, I'm gonna put some water on it. Watch yeah, how it dries. Put water on it again. Okay, I will. If you the show's over, and I'm gonna walk away. Perry, what did I do? We've got a commitment to make here to the fans. Then put the bottle down. How about when Mole cut his leg at the it's VPN show? It's because of show. Mole's fault. It wasn't because of Mole's fault. You cut his leg. I, I cut his it. leg. And if you need well, to go where's to court my knife? This, I'd be more than happy to be a witness in your Thank behalf. You. Thank you. Wait whatever. a minute. What do you mean, whatever? Everything's whatever. whatever That's right. You. Everything's whatever. Everything's what, what, I get whatever. So disres- I get more disrespect from the two you? of you guys. Than anybody else on the goddamn planet. Oh, that's not true. That's bullshit. There's people that disrespect you a lot more than us. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Name 10. Well, I believe that I have stuck with you through all the bullshit of almost 20, over 20 years of bullshit constantly from you. Name 10 not... people that have fucked with me. As bad as you two fucked The Harlem Globetrotters. I There's never 10 met right them. there. All 10 of them. I never met them. Wait a minute. Is that a phone call? Could you send that call through for us, please? Hello, you podcasters. I'll give you one uh, guess. We know it's J-Q-S. Mr. Adams. Hey, Mr. Adams. Yeah. Just another it's Adams. John Q. Pubic. <laughs> I mean, Adams. <laughs> hey, sorry about missing your Super Bowl yeah, party. Yeah, sorry missed that. You know what? It's all right. It's all right. Quite all right. In fact, with all my concussions, I won't remember any of it. <laughs> what does that but mean? listen, listen. I can't personally. I can't help but cheer. For my beloved San Francisco. Of course, of course. R.I.P. to dear, dear Harvey. Milk? Milk? Oh, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. (laughs) 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 Any whoms? Listen, I have a spot of big news. Big news. Who's up for little big news? Perry, this can be What's the big news? Would you like to hear what's happening in Perryvania? Yeah, we all would. Listen, listen, listen. As you all are, I'm sure, aware, young femme sensation Christina Fair has confirmed that she will be making a musical out of her hit film. Perry, would you like to tell us? Who's this? Perry? Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Mean Girls. Yes! 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 Of course. I knew. knew. Yes. I never saw it. Uh, Why are you so excited about the whole thing? I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. I've been chatting with some people, and they agree that the big thing for us will be, are you ready for it? Yep. Yes. Are you ready for it? Yep. On the edge of a seat. musical version of Windy City Heat oh, that whoa. will break all ticket sale records and make us rich beyond our most sexual fever dreams. Wait a second. A musical version? That's How? That's awesome. That's a great How and where and when? really cool. Wow. Listen. But can, I, can I like this? Can it. We I love all it. all just think about this? Can we all think about this? But also, also, I want us to be ready with one big number for the 10th anniversary. Perry, start dieting now because you've got some capizios to fit into your Ha <laughs> you got to be joking. Wait a second. Wait, Wait a second. Mom. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. But now I am. What did the octopi take on his camping trip? I know. Tentacles. Yes, That's exactly. fine. Wait, are we going yes. camping together? I was just, are was, we all going to go camping? No. I'd love well, to. There is always that hope. There's always that hope. Now, what? Wait, no, wait, real like, quick. It, well, what, ask him what you wanted to ask him before he hangs up. Mr. Adams, are you on the phone first? Just ask him. I think he's there. Him. We're doing a musical now? That's what he's saying. He said he wants us to start workshopping a musical. we got to have one number ready for the big 10th, 10th anniversary. We could do that. Mr. Adams, you still there? Mr. Adams. Mr. Adams. I, guess, I think up. he hung up. Mr. Adams. He hung up. Well, sometimes now, he just puts the phone Okay, down. if we're doing a musical, yeah. How how what kind of musical? Okay, so it starts. Open on a spotlight comes down 
we see a skyline of Chicago, open a spotlight on yeah, the stage, a lone figure is walking, lights come up, we see it's Stone Fury, mm. a man who's seen the be- who's who's seen better days. Listen, time has not treated the Stone Man right. He's out of he's out of touch, he's out of luck, and he's most definitely out of time. But now we're supposed to turn this into a musical. We have people who write the, the music and lyrics. I have some write the book. And then we then it opens with you singing a song like Stone, I'm Stone Fury. I'm I'm so- I got the beery and my fury. I'm my Curie. I love. I'm Stone Fury. I'm by Curie. Us. What? I don't know. Like We're just spitballing. Sounds like a damn good song. Uh, this will be fun because I've always wanted to be part of a musical. That's where but you make I, the real money. No gay shit. Why? If the script calls for it, why? Why? Because I'm not a faggot. Well, Stone's not. Stone, neither Perry Caravello is a gay, a little homosexual, bit. But more Stone. or a faggot. Stone is or definitely. Or Stone Fury, gay, homosexual, or a faggot. All right, let me just say this. There's the not many guys. Wait a minute. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one fucking me. problem. Let's forget Over bragging about that. Ago, Let's stop bragging about that. But how all Let's the guys love you. Day, all, we know all the guys day. love you. Let's just put this out. And maybe current you're, day. Listen to me. Go ahead. Let me say what I'm going to say. Let's ask our fans. Write us. Let us know your feeling. Is it common for a man nearly 50 years old to be chasing a pop idol and falling in love with him? I'm not chasing a pop idol. And you're just curious. You're curious. I'm. I'm friends with Justin online, and I'm trying to hook up with his mother. If I could hook up with his mother, it would be awesome. What we do have now is a little thing called Perry Sexcapades. This is where Perry talks about conquest of his life, women he's made love to, hookers. Chicks that I've been with. Yeah. And today, you kind of gave us a tease last week. This is going to be about the time that you... And one of the most beautiful women in the world. She was a pig, okay? The lovely she was. Sheba. She was a bony, drug-addicted pig. And she was your meal ticket. See? Uh, Where is she if she's my meal ticket? She passed away. Well, then she's not my meal ticket. She was, I said. I didn't say she is. I said she was. That's what you always kept bitching and crying about. She's my meal ticket. Anyway, let's get to your sexcapades. This is the sexcapades about the time I met Sheba. Of course, through Don Barris. Don Barris says to me, has me <clears throat> meet him at the comedy store back in 1992, where this bony female would be about, I don't know, 5'5", five, 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 five feet, five inches tall, and maybe weighs about 65 pounds. But all Bonier beauty. than shit. Uglier than shit. Then Don is have then Don is having me read some love scenes with this drug-induced stick figure. Love it means, scenes. It was a scene from Dog Day Afternoon. I don't remember the and name. And she of the played movie. your mother. I don't remember the movie. She didn't play my mother. Yes, she did. Whatever. Okay, it means it, meaning the she male <clears throat> was, she was so skinny after we did these scenes. At the Richard Pryor studio, she takes me to dinner at this Mexican restaurant across the street from the uh, Crossroads uh, um, uh, business complex over there on Sunset. Uh, And and yes, that was nice of her. So I figured, so I figured I'd pay her back by fucking her. Wow, what a class act! Yeah, we got to her. We got to her apartment empty, of course. There's no furniture. Just a backpack and about uh, three pillows. Oh yeah, and, and a sleeping bag. <laughs> she asked me if I if I was uh, wait, wait. She asks me if I have any condoms with me, and I says of course, which means yes. Were and, they in uh, your fanny pack? Yeah. With what? With no, I didn't have a fanny pack. Oh my God! How did, did you I, how wait. did you carry your stuff around before the fanny pack? Oh, I wasn't. I didn't have a stomach problems back then. Um. Maybe the fanny pack's causing the stomach. No, problems. God, it was it's connected digest- to the same it's thing. It's my digestive system. Yeah, my digestive problems. I'd are- like to see a second opinion on that. Okay, I feel then the then she way. opens up then she opens up the sleeping bag and and lays it out. Then she uh, gets on on her hands and knees and uh, said, "Stick it in slow." 
Then, then I'm, uh, I'm thinking to myself, can I believe it? I'm fucking a transsexual. I mean, she, she shows me this photo of, <clears throat> she shows me a photo and says, this was a picture of her when, when, uh, oh wait, excuse me. She shows me a photo and said, this is, this was me before my sex change. Uh, but, but after learning about her, after all these years, I've come to believe that, uh, that <clears throat> she was just putting me on, but fucking that was the uh, sickest thing in the world. You, wait a minute, you said sickest, you meant hottest thing. Sickest, disgusting, so, grossest, boniest. So worse than, worse than having sweet sex love with a man. If you had to choose you've done again, both. If you had to choose Randy Callahan or Sheba, who would you go with? Don't even ask that fucking disgusting, gross, out of touch, indespicable, hideous fucking question right, to me. I already asked. So, you already asked answer. so let's ask this. Linda Johnson or Sheba? That's stupid for me to even say that. Linda Johnson. Definitely Linda Johnson. Thank you. Because Sheba's there, passed can... away. Sheba is disgusting. A drug addict. A gross pig. Was. Um, She's gone. Hey, maybe you don't speak ill of Let her rest in peace, the, yeah, okay? Maybe you don't speak ill of Brad, the, uh, Let her rest in dead. peace, all right? No, you really she don't. passed away. I feel bad that she passed all away. Right. Zombie Sheba comes back. Wants to make love to you. Good point. There's Zombie Sheba? Well, Zombie Sheba better be at least as hot as Mary Jane, or there's no fucking way. Don't ever say that about Mary Jane again. I don't want you even thinking about her as a woman. She's a producer on this. She's show. not a woman. She's a producer on the show. She's a she's like a guy. That's why when I when I use the restroom all the time, she's like two two feet away from me. What does that mean? I mean, she's always in the bathroom with me and stuff. I don't know what that means, Mary Jane. What does he mean by that? That is completely incorrect. I wait outside the door so he doesn't pull any shenanigans. <laughs> door shut. A true okay. professional. A true Thank professional. Thank you. Pulling shenanigans. By the way, the shenanigans are one hell of a kick-ass Orange County rock band. Okay. And you know what else is a great thing? Promote? Is the delicious Thai food you get at What the Huck. That's What the Huck for the finest in Thai cuisine. It's What the Huck. Perry, do you remember the number? Uh, 323 654 That's right. That's where you can get the finest Thai cuisine in the entire West Hollywood. Scare Master, what's your favorite Thai, it's kind of Thai what food? What the hot? Everything on their menu is good. Everything. <clears throat> I don't have a favorite. I, I just like what tastes good. What do you mean, what you like what tastes good? I love what's on their menu. I mean, chop suey, uh, chicken, uh, the, 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 the chicken dishes, the fish dishes, the vegetable dishes. I like it all. Well, what's the number for that? The finest in Thai cuisine in the West Hollywood area. Oh, so you're trying to get me to say the phone number again? Yes. 323-654-7952. Mole, what is that phone number? 654-7952. Ah, is that Spanish? Spanish? Si. Say it in French. Um, well, he doesn't know French. Perry, one Say it in Polish. You know Polish. How Ski? do you know Polish, because his last name is uh, Walter Mol Molininski. At least I still know how to ski, and I don't have a tattoo. It says I'm a skier, and then I don't even go up by the mountains. I'm too like afraid. You. Well, I don't like go up you. by the mountains because I have snowboarding tattoo. Fucking money! You were there last get week. You could have gotten it free. No, Who's you, ripping you off? We are bored. Where's my fucking paychecks? Why? But no, I'm talking about the fact that we went to a snowy mountain and I and we had lift tickets and free. Well, look, boards. I didn't want to. I, my mind was totally dedicated to the big three mm. podcast. Yeah, you've that been was totally. Dedicated but that was the night before. It. Yeah. So once again, you lied. I don't know where. I that don't ends. lie. God when did you get that snowboarding tattoo? Back in years ago, I don't remember. Have you snowboarded since you've had that tattoo? Of course. Where? Locally at uh, Mountain High. When did you go to Mountain High? I think one or two years ago. All right. I haven't enough, been on my board. I haven't, been on my, I haven't been on my so, snowboard. Uh, nobody cares. For a min All right, minimum stop. Nobody gives years. a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. I want to ask you a question. I want you to answer it honestly. Right now, look at me. Yeah. Do you see fear in my eyes? A little bit. Do you know why? Well, no, I don't. I'll tell you why. Because we're about to go into a bit 
the probably the best thing that we do on this show. Uh, but I'm a little afraid because last week when we did mole play, somebody in this room, and I'm not pointing fingers, but I think you know who it is. He has a love affair with Justin Bieber, which is really sick. He bit my nipple. He bit oh, my, I remember God. that. And now oh, I'm a little afraid God. to go into the. Oh, oh, that's just a race from my mind. It's a week ago, and it still haunts me. I wake up in the middle of the night thinking of you with that gypsy Italian Javaho bite on my nipple. Jehovah's Witness? Well, anyway, it's time once again for a little piece on this show that I like to call Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play, let's play Mole Play. Mole Play! Now, if you've never heard Mole Play before, Mole Play is an improv game that we play here on the Big Three Podcast where Mole will play. Pick some sort of scenario, and usually the scenario could be about pop culture, it could be something we've done on the show, or even our own personal lives. Then what Mo will do, Mo will cast a scene, then what Mo will do is he will direct that scene. So with all that information, the one thing that we don't know, Mo, what are we going to be doing on today's mole play? Hey, thanks for asking, Dan. Today we head to the backstage of the Big Broadway Musical Theater Theater, where they're casting for the hottest new show to come out in the ha uh, and the and the Broadway season. When in the door, they haven't seen anyone good for the role all day, but in the door walks Don Fury. Whoa. He's ready to audition for this musical, but he has one person to get by. It's Big Lou, the casting director. He's seen everybody. <laughs> and if and if Scaremaster wants to be in this play, he better be ready to deliver. Scaremaster, you play Scaremaster. Dan, you play Big Lou. It's the auditions for Windy City Heat the Musical. Mo play. Excuse me. Before we do this. Be before, I'm just trying to get in character. Okay, you said you, you said me. the casting director? That was Dane Cook's role. He was the casting director. If oh. you forgot. Mole. Dane Cook was the one that was. Uh, no, that wasn't his role. What was his role? Now, you're talking about Dane Cook, who had changed his name because Roman there was another Polanski. Roman Polanski that was in SAG, so he couldn't use that name. So he changed it to Dane Cook. And he wasn't the casting director or the casting agent. He was an assistant to Bobcat Goldthwait in the film. Yeah. So let's okay. get it straight, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so are you ready? I'm ready. You guys ready? Yes. And mole play. Well, I don't know who's going to be the next person in here. Oh, I recognize this name anywheres. This is Scary Perry Caravello. Come on in, boy. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? You're just meeting him for the first time. I know. I, okay. That's why I said I haven't seen All him right. in a while. Now do your audition. Right, Sing yourself. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I went with a southern accent. Should I not go with the southern accent? <laughs> I, I, you know, try maybe do um, Scottish. I don't like Scottish. Okay, um, Boston. Can I do Bob Hope? Oh yeah. Okay, can Bob I, Hope. Bob accent. Hope is the casting director. Scaremaster's trying to get the role. Mo play. Hey, I gotta tell you. Let's see. Hey, let's see who's up here next. Hey, can I see a scary Perry boy? That's me. Oh, yeah. That's me, Sonny boy. Yeah, I got. Oh, Sonny play. boy, shit. That's the old fucking. That's the old bastard in Palm Springs. How you doing, you bald bastard? Yeah, that's wild, boy. You really got a mouth on you. All right. I don't want this guy. Get the fuck out of my office, you <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> and that hey, was Mole Play. <laughs> mole Play, Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Mole Play, Mole Play. Let's play Mole Play. Oh, that's funny. Really you blew terrible. the whole fuck. Really? Oh, God. No, you, no, Bob Hope was a prick You can't even Bob audition Bruce. for the role of Stone Bob Hope was a prick to me in Palm Springs. How was he a prick to you no, in we, Palm Springs? Well, when I, when, uh, he gave me shit on the golf course one time. What did he do? This I got to hear. Get. Sit down, please. Sit down. Sit down. Shut the fuck up. Break the fuck down. I'm going to tell you this. Don't ever yell at her like that. You sit down. You sit down. Don't ever yell at her like that again, or I'm going to slap you silly. Mary Jane did nothing to you. That's right. What did Mary Jane do? 
Mary Jane did nothing. And if you ever get in her face like that again, I'm going to slap the fuck out of you. Do you understand me? Now pick up your mic so we can close the fucking show. And that was mole play. No, we already closed mole play oh, okay. a little while ago. <sighs> Just acting. You weren't acting. Just oh, acting. Oh, was you messing around? Was that you joking? No, the All water right. thing. All right, that's funny. All right, he's just joking around, too. I was just kidding. He was just kidding. Come on, Scaremaster. What would be really funny, like if all of a sudden you went like this? Oh, God. What's the matter? Are you trying to turn my leg? Are you trying to turn my leg? I'll, I'll kick you in the balls. If you want to get in touch with us on the social network, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at Simply Don Juan. Your Twitter What's name? your Twitter name? Scary Perry 818 and, and I'm the real Malinsky. Come on. So if you want to catch us, every night I'm at the Comedy Store. On Monday nights, I'm at the Ding Dong Show. Uh, where are you going to be, Mole? I'm going to be hanging out here waiting for our next podcast like everybody else. Perry, where are you going to be? Don't even ask me that. I got to ask you that. I'm going to be wetter than shit every time I show up. <laughs> okay, put it there then. Here we go. For big, us, it's the Big, big three. three. Goodbye.